to morning prayers from Cliff College. My name is David Hunt and I have served at Cliff and the Peak Methodist Circuit for the last four years. Our time of morning prayer today is based around an order of service we have occasionally used in the past at Cliff when you've gathered in the chapel as a community together. And so as we move into our time together Take time to still yourself, to be at peace. And remember these words from scripture. Be still and know that I am God. Be. Be still. Be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And so having stilled ourselves before God, we are ready to approach him, the God of all glory and grace, to bring our lives again to him to listen to his word and to bring to him an aching world. The next part of our prayers involves a response which will appear on the screen. I invite you to join in wherever you are today. We say together, one thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. And do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. And Jesus asks us, as he asked his disciples all those years ago, whether we are willing today to continue to follow him. 
and give our lives to him in worship and service. So just let us take a few moments to consider that question which he asks of us this morning. If you are ready to make that commitment once again today, I ask you to join with me as we say together these words of St Peter. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless mercy. For our scripture reading, we are going to continue to look at some of the words from Psalm 27. That I will read these verses slowly and invite you to reflect quietly in your heart on what each of those verses means to you today. If a particular verse resonates strongly with you, stay with that verse and listen to what God is saying to you today. And do not be concerned if I move on to the next few verses. Listen to God's voice as we listen to his holy word. Some verses from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path. I remain confident of this. I will seek the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. Just wondering, how significant are dates to you? I think for a lot of us that certain dates are engraved on our memories. Maybe because of major events in world history which have affected us in some way. The dates which people recall when I ask that question often says something about their age. For example, 22nd of November 1963, the date of President Kennedy's assassination. 
the 20th of July 1969 with the first moon landing. September the 11th, 2001, the attack on the Twin Towers in America. I'm sure as I'm mentioning these dates, other dates will come to mind. But I am also aware that the examples which I've given for most of our cliff body here, that those dates will be well before you were born. There will be other dates which are significant to you. Dates such as birthdays or anniversaries. There may be other dates which stick in your memory as they mark a particular occasion in your life's journey. Maybe it's the date you first stepped foot in Cliff College and how the time spent here, the people you have met, those conversations which you have had, the worship you've taken part in, have transformed your life forever. For me, 30th of June is a date which sticks in my memory because that was the day many, many years ago that I started full-time work. A lot has happened since that day, along with many changes in my life and in what I do. It is also today, the 30th of June, that my request to the Methodist Conference to be allowed to sit down, as we say in Methodism, to sit down from active work as a Methodist minister will be considered later this morning. And with the significance of these two events taking place on the same day, many years apart, it has provided me with the opportunity to look back with thankfulness and to also to look forward with anticipation. And as I do so, there are many names and faces which come to mind who have been part of my journey. So for the next few moments, I invite you to join me in looking back on your life and looking forward. So first of all, in the quietness of your heart, please think about those people who've played a significant part in your journey of faith and be thankful. It may be those who nurtured your faith as a child. Those who encouraged you to take a step of faith. Or those who have walked alongside you through times of joy and difficulty. So look back with thanks. And now I encourage you to think about those who are part of your current community of faith. Maybe other students, colleagues you work with, members of the church you attend, close friends and family. Bring their names to mind with thanksgiving and prayer Pray for them in their respective places in their life as well. They are companions on your journey at this particular time. And now think about what lies before you. It may be it's the next step as you leave Cliff College and explore what God has in store for you over the coming months and years. 
It may be that you are taking on a new role in what you do. It could be that you are reflecting on this last year before making preparations for the next academic year. It could be that you are going to continue doing what you have been doing for a while and you are aware that you are doing and you are where God wants you to be at this time. Whatever the future holds, offer it to God who has promised that he will never leave us, that he will be with us to the end of time. In all that we do and all that we are, we do so in the knowledge that God is with us. And I conclude this time of prayer with you this morning with the words of St. Patrick. Christ be with us. Christ within us. Christ behind us and before us. Christ beside us, beneath us and above us. Christ to comfort and restore. So as we go forward into the day that the Lord has given us, as we go forward into the coming weeks and months, we do so in the knowledge that we go in peace and in the Spirit's power to transform, to love and to serve. God be with you all. Amen.